Medic One recently purchased property to build a state-of-the-art headquarters off North Main Street in Irwin. A big improvement over the current headquarters, and you're about to see why. Medic One. When they're not on the road, they're in these two trailers. Unicoi County Commissioner John Mosley calls it deplorable conditions. But it's where most medics sleep and eat during their 24 hour shift. They've had uh, frozen pipe problems last year. No heat, no air. The floors are buckling. Water uh, run, runs through the doors when it rains. God bless them. It's very embarrassing to, to me, and it should be of anyone that lives in the county. Medic One has been housed in these county-owned trailers since their contract started in 2011. The first word comes to mind would be embarrassed, um, but in the same respect, it says a lot about our crews. Last year, Medic One's Vice President of Business and Growth, Daryl Gibson, says there were several violations given by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. And there were some things that they found that, that weren't up to code. And, and rather than passing that on to the county, Medic One paid those fines. And not only paid the fines, but also went as far as to pay to have those issues remedied and fixed. Gibson says Medic One wants to stay. Oh, absolutely, absolutely want to be a part of Unicor County. With property purchased, Medic One has plans to pay about a half of a million dollars to build a new headquarters at no cost to the county. But County Commissioner Marie Rice told me over the phone on Wednesday the county can't afford to keep Medic One, even at $120,000 a year. You know, I don't think you're going to get someone as invested in the community as Medic One ha is that will want to go out and build a building right off the bat. Whoever comes in will probably be housed in this, these same facilities. Tomorrow, both sides meet again to discuss the next step. Three commissioners will decide whether to stick with Medic One or bid out to another company. On Monday, all nine commissioners will vote on that decision.